Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. So today I will going to see how to insert items into my SQL database, retrieve those items and display them in a combo box. Okay? So in short what we are going to do is here. You can see right here I have uh, this application. Now if I click add country, for instance I can say Uganda, then I click add it will get inserted into the database okay now you can see so far our combo box is empty but once I click retrieve it will connect to my SQL database and fill the combo box just a minute okay you can see Uganda here the country that I've just added so this was I had added uh, earlier so that's what we're going to do for today okay now uh, I'm using my school database I'm using WAMP server I've already started it you can see uh, I've created this uh, database uh, known as countries DB then I have a table known as countries TB inside the table you can see uh, the data that have been added so far okay so like for example if I refresh uh, you'll be able to see you can see now Uganda okay so the the, the table has uh, this field known as countries and it also has the column ID so that's what we're going to do uh, so please uh, jump straight to your Visual Studio I'm using Visual Studio 2013 you can use any there's no problem we're going to start it from scratch okay so I've created a form here uh, I'll just explain in a minute you can see this is just an ordinary form I've changed the back color to Sienna okay I've changed it to Sienna then I have a combo box here uh, I'll name it it's called combo box one I have this button uh, let me change it to let me change its name property okay retrieve a button I'll just leave it that way then I also have the add button right here I also have this uh, text field uh, the label country and this is a group box so straight away we'll jump to code so uh, inside let me just okay inside the add button we're going to add uh, a method known as add we'll define it in a minute then we will also have a method known as retrieve okay then the very first thing that we have to do given that we are trying to connect uh, our C sharp application to my school we have to add the reference to my school so come to references click add reference then I uh, just type here my SQL it will bring for us this one we will add my SQL dot data please if you don't know how to configure uh, your Visual Studio to work with the my SQL first of all remember you have you must download and install my SQL connector okay we have a video uh, dedicated for that one so please you can scroll up the playlist so once we've done that one, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is that we're going to define a connection string. We're going to define a connection string. So say static string con string equal to then inside here we'll pass the parameter say server equal to localhost that is the uh, MySQL localhost you are running then a uh, database equal to not that one database equal to remember uh, the database was called as countries db then uid user id okay equal to root 
that is normally the default uh, user ID that comes with MySQL then password equal to we just leave it blank okay then after that one we're going to uh, create a MySQL connection object so say uh, my SQL connection con equal to new MySQL connection inside uh, the MySQL connection we're going to pass the connection string and then please uh, make sure you resolve let me resolve it then uh, after that one we're going also to create a MySQL command object I'll just call it CMD so we're through with our uh, connection string now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to define uh, these particular methods so private void add okay now inside the uh, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to assign uh, the cmd say cmd equal to con dot create command then a uh, cmd dot text dot command text i mean equal to now here we're going to uh, write the sql statement for inserting remember you have to be very keen you can see insert into countries tb the countries tb is the table set country remember the field known as country equal to country txt dot text country txt uh, is this particular text box uh, that we had here let me just confirm country txt it's right okay so it's that particular text box that we had there so what will be typed there shall be inserted into the database then the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to open insert and close uh, into the uh, close the connection so s this one we have to do in a try catch block because uh, you know anything can go wrong when it comes to servers and databases so say mysql con dot open then cmd dot execute non query right then uh, after that one we're just going to make sure that after inserting we're going to clear that particular text box so country txt uh, dot clear okay then uh, we're just going to show uh, just a message box to confirm to us that we've already uh, entered it has been successful so I'll just say uh, country added okay then after that one remember uh, we have to release the resources so call the close uh, con dot close then let's complete our catch exception e then if anything goes wrong we'll catch it and display it in our message box E dot message okay so so far uh, that one is enough to insert into the database but remember we also have to retrieve so uh, we shall define the method for retrieving private void retrieve okay then uh, just as we did uh, in the in the inserting in the add method the first thing that we have to do is that we have to uh, assign the CMD so say con dot create command okay then uh, the next thing uh, CMD dot text dot command text equal to 
then now uh, we have to write the SQL statement to select uh, the data from the database so say select asterisk from uh, our ta our table which was countries TB please uh, make sure you have the right uh, score statement so we're just going to select uh, from everything from the countries TB okay then uh, after selecting it uh, we are going to obviously we want to display it in the combo box so uh, we are going to open connection and then add it con dot open then we are going to use the mysql uh, data reader object not adapter data reader reader equal to cmd dot execute reader so that one will give us the reader object and then we will loop over the re reader object so the first thing uh, before we do anything we want to make sure that we clear the combo box so say a uh, combo combo box one dot items dot clear because we don't want redundancy uh, in our combo box after clearing the combo box uh, we are going to loop say while we are going to use the while loop while reader dot read Uh, then in the loop um, for every round we are going to add uh, items in the combo box so say combo box one dot items dot add okay then uh, what we want to add we want to add the country so say reader okay uh, then uh, pass over their country please remember that the country is the field in the database okay so uh, just uh, as usual after the we've already entered stuff we have to close our connection so say connection dot close to free up the resources and then our catch uh, add over there our catch exception because you know anything can go wrong in stuff like this so uh, I think everything should be should be fine let's run our app and see please remember uh, your server has to be running so we have here our text box we have our app now if I click retrieve you should retrieve for us stuff from the database unless we have an error okay you can see it has retrieved for us the stuff from the database now uh, let me add another one uh, probably I'll say uh, something like sorry South Africa then I add it into the database it tells me country added if I click retrieve it should refresh it you can see South Africa down here so guys hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial please if you have uh, subscribed to this channel uh, comment on these videos and uh, please uh, share these videos and like the videos okay we, we would appreciate it so have a nice day um, take care see you next time